Hello everyone, thanks a lot for joining in today's tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll go over strings and basically what we'll do is we'll take the sentence and remove the word extra from it. So the purpose of this tutorial is to take a sentence and remove a specific word from it. This is relatively simple, just follow along and this will all make sense. So basically going over the basics of this program, firstly we write include IO stream, so we're allowed to use all the basic terms and functions and then we write include string, so we're able to use the string command and then basically what we're doing here is we're creating a type of a string we're calling it original sentence and then this string contains this whole sentence in here and before we move further i would like to go over these basic and most common string commands we use dot find and in an empty bracket let's say whatever word we type we're able to find the word that we're looking for and it returns an integer so basically it returns the number that's the position of the integer so for example if we go original sentence dot find and let's say we're looking to find the word extra in this case so what this will do is this will go in this sentence and find the word extra for us and it will give us the position of it so what we can do is we can just make an integer called in start and we could equal it to uh, equal it to the spot where extra is located so it will give us the number position of where e is now going on to the next command which is dot length so similar idea if we did integer len length we could do something like this original sentence dot length and it's a very basic idea here that oops sorry spelled that wrong that it will return an integer which is the number uh, which is basically a length of the sentence which will be a number and we can just quickly print it actually we can just go uh, c out length of the sentence is which is stored in the variable length we can easily print this And, and what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is I'm actually also going to print this sentence itself. So to get rid of the word extra, firstly we will create a new string that will print the first half of the sentence and then we'll print the second half of the sentence with jumps over extra and to do that we'll be using the sub str uh, function so let's create a new string we'll call it string first half and this will essentially equal to original sentence dot sub str and what sub str takes is it takes the starting position of the sentence which is zero and it wants us the number of characters we print after that. So let's say if we went 0, 4, it will, it will start from 0 and print the number of characters after that. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will probably print I will. And in this case, we want, we want this to print all the way till the beginning of extra. And where is the beginning of extra? It's stored right here in start, which basically gives us the position of where E starts. So we can literally copy this variable, throw this in here, and this will print the first half of our sentence. Now secondly, let's start with the second half. And in this case, we're doing something very similar. We're not starting from zero anymore. We want to start from E, plus the length of extra so to do that we go start which is the beginning where e starts and we add what do we add the length of extra so we can literally do this right here so we can create for this let's create a new string we can call it string s and we can give it the value extra and right now here what we'll do is we'll do s which is string s right here dot length which returns us the length of the word extra which will be five 
and then we can simply close this bracket. And this should print the second half of the sentence. And now you might be wondering uh, that we need to add two values in sub s here. This is just one integer start plus the length of extra is one number. But after comma, if we don't put in anything, let's say we leave this empty, this will automatically assume we want to go to the end of the sentence. So if we don't put anything, the program automatically knows that we're starting from the end of extra and we're going all the way to the end of the sentence. So that's a very clever thing about sub str. And now we can literally go ahead and just print our new sentence. We can go ahead and call it the new sentence is we can hit enter. We got a semicolon here. And now we go first half So this will print the